Hello everybody, good morning, it's JT Bear. I just discovered a package in my mailbox that looks like maybe it needs a little investigation. Let's take a look. You know what though, actually before I get into that, I just want to say I, I really, really appreciate all the interaction with you guys. Um, when you uh, comment down below in the various videos and stuff with your various bits of advice or your little quippets or whatever, I, it's it's really some of the best parts of my day, and I, I can't thank you enough for uh, all of your interaction. It's been absolutely fabulous. I have learned so much from you guys so far, and hopefully I've been able to impart a little bit of knowledge along the way myself. But, uh, you know, sometimes it, it feels like there's a lot of effort that goes into making these little YouTube videos, although it might not look it from the production quality, because, uh, well, I try and keep things affordable around here. But... Uh, it does, it does add up, you know, and I think a lot of YouTube creators can, can empathize with me on this. Sometimes it feels like you do a lot of effort for nothing, you know, and uh, maybe you're not reaching anybody or you think your video, oh, this is a great video, it's got absolutely fabulous content, I've never made such a great video, and it goes nowhere, you know, and then you make a little video talking to yourself in a kind of a quiet little mouse voice and it turns out to be the best video you've ever done. Who knows, right? But... Sometimes when it does get to feeling like maybe I'm, I'm, I'm just wasting my effort, there's always, always somebody who has something to say in the comments below that just, it, it that perks me up, it cheers me up, it gets me back on my track, it lights that little fire up underneath my butt, and I just, I want to say before I go into opening this, um, how much I really, really appreciate that. You guys are awesome, and... Uh, I wouldn't be doing all these videos without you. So, yeah, with that in mind, I want to check out this box from Tracy there because he seems like an interesting gentleman. If you don't know, Tracy has a very interesting aquaponic garden set up. I've watched it kind of evolve over a couple of years. And uh, I wish I could steal some ideas from that greenhouse, but I just don't have the room. But, wow, I, I'm very curious. Let's find out what's in this box. So if I have it correctly, in my memory, there was a shopping expedition one day. Something was seen that made him think of me. So he contacted me for my mailing information. Um, and I guess that's what this is. So I'm very excited, and right off the hop, i got to say, well, thank you so much for thinking of me. That's uh, incredibly kind. And it's, it's kind of strikes to what I was talking about with the whole community and the interaction between everybody and... Uh-oh. Is that just a... Packing? I may cut this out. Oh, good! Whew! Huh. But, yeah. What was I saying? I guess the point of that, before I worried that maybe I was cutting through a letter or something, was uh, just thanks for thinking of me. That, that's that's really awesome. Um, and again, like like I was starting to say, it kind of speaks to the whole community thing we've got going on here in, in YouTube. When you compare aquaponic gardening and gardening in general, and you know, I almost want to call them victory gardens because that's kind of what we're doing here. Uh, to things like, you know, stupid cats and things like that. There's not a lot of viewers in the community. And uh, one thing I have noticed, though, is that we seem to connect on a, a slightly more human level than a lot of the YouTube communities. And uh, this, I think, is proof of it, whatever it is. <laughs> and so it's just really awesome. And, uh, you know, once again, I'm just going to take the opportunity to be redundant and say you guys are awesome. So let's check out what's in the box. Oh, see, bubble wrap. I love bubble wrap. And I don't have to fight with the kids for it anymore because they've grown up and they leave me my bubble wrap. Excellent. Ooh, I see a jar. Do I see a jar? I see a jar. What have you sent me? This is exciting. Is this... A hot S, eh? Hot salsa? Oh. Oh. 
Oh, there's all kinds of presents in here. What is this? Chico stick. Chico stick. I'm not good with these angles on the camera. Well, that'll be interesting. Cool. It's like Christmas in here. Oh, this is very safely wrapped. What have you sent? Oh. Oh, what is this? Devil's Lightning Jaluka Hot Sauce. Oh, that's... That's going in dinner tonight. I had no idea what I was making for dinner now, and I, I still don't, but I know it's going to be spicy. Oh. That's awesome. This is, this is, this, you didn't have to do this. This is awesome. I seem to have a limited selection of happy words at the moment, but yeah. I think I'm a little bit overwhelmed. Oh, what's this? Tim's Texas Two-Step Barbecue Sauce. A culinary harmony of flavors that dance across your tongue. Winner 2013 Fiery Food Challenge. Winner 2014 Fire... Oh, two years in a row. That's pretty awesome. Oh, wow. Okay, so... I'm just guessing... Call it a hunch, but I'm guessing that you had some sort of thought in mind for um, what I might want to do with these. And uh, I would love to hear it. So, Tracy, I sure hope you, you watch this video, and I hope you don't mind me calling you Tracy. Uh, this, this, is, this is crazy. And I think there's still more in there. Well, my sons would never believe it to hear it, but I'm darn near speechless. Um, this is fabulous. Thank you so much. I, I love spicy food, as I'm sure most of my viewers have figured out by now, what with the whole pepper collection and everything. And uh, always, always excited to try a new salsa. And this looks particularly like a homemade salsa, so... Oh, yeah. This is great. I can't wait till Shox gets home to share with her the contents of this. Quite curious to find out what these Chico sticks are, too. Is this a cracker? Is this a gum? Alright. Let's find out what this is. There's Faith, eh? Someone sends you something strange in the mail, so the first thing you do is put it in your mouth. Oh my goodness. What have you sent me? That is so good. Chico stick. Oh wow. That's really, really tasty. Kind of sweet. Is that almost, what is that, peanut butter in the middle there? Mmm. Okay. I am going to close this video out so I can wipe these out and I don't have to share with the family. No, not really. I'll, I'll share. But um, this one's definitely history. All right. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate this and uh, I, I don't know, but I suspect I'm going to end up sending something down in the mail. <laughs> Not sending this back, though. So, yeah, please comment below if you have any recommendations. Uh, you know, if you think these are better with pork or chicken or beef or venison, moose. I, um, we got a pretty wide variety of meats available. There's a couple of hunters in the neighborhood, you know? So, let me know what you think this is best with, and um, I think I'm picking up some corn chips to try this today. As I said, Tracy, thank you so much, and also, as I've said time and time again in the course of this video, and I don't say enough in the course of my regular videos, 
Thank you guys all so much for just being who you are and uh, taking part in, in this YouTube community. Um, you're awesome. All right, well, I guess I'm going to wrap it up so I can finish wiping that out. And I am going to say a most heartfelt thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you to uh, all of you guys. You're totally awesome. So that's it from an overwhelmed and still apparently not speechless Mr. JT Bear. I, I thank you all. Blessed be, and uh, don't forget to share the love. It's the season, right?